New York Fashion Week, a live performance and a discussion on new relationships. All this and more here on Marquette Live. everybody and welcome to Marquette Live. I'm your host, Jessica Clark. It's getting to that time of the semester where you're sick of the cold. Spring break is so close yet so far and you're starting to have dreams about basking in the summer sun a few months from now. But never fear because all of us here at MUTV are here to help make that time a little less painful. We have a great show planned tonight so to start things off let's head on over to Catherine and Kivan with the addition of another special host who are here to give us a recap on one of fashion's biggest weeks. Ladies? Hello Marquette and welcome to Marquette Fashion. Tonight we have a very special topic and a very special person joining us. I'm Catherine. I'm Kivan. And I'm Lo. And tonight we're talking about New York Fashion Week and our favorite trends from our favorite designers and bloggers on the street. So what are some of your favorite trends that you guys saw? Well, I personally love the teal look. Um, the teal, I've seen it a lot, and i seen Jennifer Hudson. She had on a teal suit, and it looked so nice. Um, one color, is that's the big trend. So I really like how she paired that up, and she had, like, the blazer to go over it. It was awesome and cute. Yeah, she always looks beautiful, and look at how she's glowing with that teal. Right. It's, like it's a great radiates. color for her. Yeah. yeah. It's a really great color, and I like her pumps with the gold. Yeah, that, yeah, that really adds to it. Yeah, um, one of my favorite trends that I saw was the tan. So it wasn't just tan in particular, it was even it has to do with this, um, how it was just one color and you mm -hmm. mix different shades of the colors to make that look. And it's all about contrasting, even if it's a tan, which you need to find the right color tan for you or right. it will wash you out. Exactly. And so that's why I showcased three different colors from style.com because they obviously are three different shoes of tan. So yeah. mm -hmm. and what's also nice it. too about tan is that when you do a lot of like contrasting colors and comparison with them and stuff like that, um, it really creates like a lot of depth to the look. So then that way you're able to have like, right. a lot more like richness to it. And then instead of it just being like washed out, you have a lot of different looks and styles mixed in. Exactly. With it. Yeah. And layering is always great, especially for Wisconsin. You want to layer just so that <laughs> you're warm. And, right. when, and then you get in the hot classroom, you take it off, and then you go outside and you're freezing. So right. I like this look from New York Fashion Week. <laughs> I love it too. Um, one of the ones that I really liked and saw was a lot of tribal inspirations. Um, I feel like tribal is a look that's always popular, um, no matter what season you're in, and something you can really right. carry on. Um, tribal comes in a variety of different styles. I love it how Mara Hoffman did it with these really cute pants. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of like playfulness within the pattern too, and I like with the spring colors, like the right. teals and the corals, which are always really popular too. Yeah, and that yeah, and that is such an easy look and affordable for college students mm -hmm. because you can go to Urban Outfitters and they're one of their signature pieces is tribal print and so you can go and get those jeans and then get a black tee and you are set to go yeah you're set right. from new york fashion week mm -hmm. so you it's really easy to channel that as a college student i agree and tribal print is not only for the summer you can do it in the winter also as you see how she did it it looks awesome i mean yeah. so a lot of people think you know like bright colors is just like for summer you can mm -hmm. save that no, like you can do it for the winter too and it still looks cute. And she dressed it with the black, which looks awesome. Yeah, and that's why black needs to be in your wardrobe so you can throw in a black sweater with the tribal right. print jean and it really tones it down for exactly. winter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was a great trend. I love that. Yeah. I also loved metallics. Yes. It was everywhere. Even the bloggers on New York Fashion Week, um, like even the shoes I'm wearing, it's just such a signature piece, whether it's silver or gold, or if it's a brocade sweater or jean, um, I think it's a really great trend and something that should be in everyone's wardrobe. And it's a lot like the tribal print where you can add a black sweater to tone it down. But that yeah. was also a favorite 
a really yeah, big I challenge. agree with that. Because it always has a nice, like, little sparkle, like, within every outfit. You always always have, like, that glam, like, wow factor, too. Yeah. So sometimes you can do it, like, really subtly and can also play it up, like, in a big way, which is right. also really nice as well. Right. Right. It can also be a step down from sequence. I mean, sequence it right. might be a little I too like flashier, but mm -hmm. um, metallic, you can play that down. And, you know, I really like that. That's a good way of putting it. It's a step down from sequence. Right. That's yeah. awesome. So, so for it's kind of the segue into being a little bit more glitz and glam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rather. Um, another trend that I saw that I loved was cutouts. Um, I seen that in New York Fashion Week a lot, and that's also a big trend. I mean, for my birthday this weekend, I'm wearing a cutout dress, so that you know, like that. Woo! Really fun. fun. Like, super excited. Sassiness for her weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cutouts are big, and um, especially side cutouts or you know, cutouts in the front. That's big right now, and I feel like that's a nice trend. Yeah. Cause she even saw some of that too happening like within the past award season shows. You saw a lot of celebrities doing cutouts and you're seeing a lot more of it too like within other corporations too with like clothing or whatnot. Yeah. What's another trend that you loved? Um, another trend that I really love besides the cutouts, metallics too and tribals, um, just popping like regular like winter outfits with like neons or whatever. Right. You go to department stores, you see a lot of like bright colors and you want to try and brighten up your winter wardrobe. So that's yeah. something I always like to pair so it kind of makes it like an easy statement as well. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I loved the trends you brought, and I think it's really easy to channel into a college wardrobe. Yeah. Thank you, guys, and see you next week. Seeing how I plan to live in New York someday, going to Fashion Week is definitely on my bucket list. Thanks, girls. We've got to take our first break, but don't go anywhere because Marquette Live will be right back. Welcome back to Marquette Live. I'm your host, Jessica Clark. Next, we are heading over to Kristen, who has a very special interview with comedy group 33rd and State. Take it away, Kristen. Hey, everyone. I'm Kristen. Today, I'll be interviewing Marquette's very own sketch comedy group, 33rd and State. We have a little video for you to show what they kind of do on campus. So let's take a look. So that was absolutely hilarious. I don't know how you guys come up with that kind of stuff. <laughs> so tell us, how did you get the inspiration to start this kind of group? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being into working out my, uh, my physical muscles. OK. Ah, right. physical muscles. And I went to Charlie and Spencer, I was and nothing. I was like, how can we work out this muscle? The you brain, know? The brain okay. muscle. The most important muscle. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So how did you come up with the name of the group, 33rd and State? That's very original. Uh, well, it was originally a uh, name of German dance club oh. in Zilber Hall before it was shut down for health codes. Uh, apparently, it was fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. You couldn't get out in time. <laughs> and that was also back when a lot of our uh, sketches involved pyrotechnics. Mm -hmm. OK. Not that we're you know, saying that we caused it or anything, but no. there were some fires. Interesting. So is it just you three in the group? Or we saw from the sketch there was more people. How many people are in 33rd and State? Well, I mean, honestly, we're all humans on this earth. So I think everyone is a me member of 33rd and State. So I I'm part of 33rd and State? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's the funniest out of all of you? I mean, I guess. I don't want to brag, but I'm sure that it's probably me. Oh. Uh, I've been told uh, uh, no. by several relatives that I'm no one works. No one works hard as me or works out as often as I do. And okay. so I really think that I'm funnier than Charlie. Uh, oh, that's, well, that's just that's a bit. My mother says I am the most funny. You so. are the most funny. <laughs> you can't be, wait, hold on. You can't be the most handsome and the funniest. That doesn't work for the dynamic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to intervene a little bit so no one starts fighting or anything. But where can viewers see your sketches if they want to see more? Because that was awesome. We have some on. These are real. These are real flowers. You, we have <laughs> that. some on our YouTube. You just have to YouTube 33rd and State. Okay. Uh, same for Twitter and Facebook. They're all there. Awesome. All I've over heard, the internet. <laughs> I've heard rumors about you going live, not just on YouTube. Are the rumors true? Will you be going live anytime soon? Your sources are uh, you're, they're accurate, I'm Kristen. Glad. Uh, they're accurate. Yeah, we're planning on doing a live show sometime uh, this semester around April. 
Uh, so, you know, as opposed to sketches on the internet, those will be uh, in the real world. Awesome. So make sure that you get us some information about that, and we'll definitely tell our viewers. That's great. So make sure you check out 33 and State, or 33rd and State. I'm sorry, on YouTube. They'll get us the information about their show in April. You guys are awesome. I'm so excited that you're a new group on campus. Again, I'm Kristen Powers, telling you what's going on in Marquette, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Kristen, and thank you to the guys of 33rd and State for coming out. That was awesome. We'll be sure to get more information on your boys' comedy group. And next up, we actually have our relationship guru, Sebastian, with some information on how to handle a new relationship. So it'll be interesting. It always is. Sebastian? Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Dating 101. Tonight, I have a special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Francesca. I brought on Francesca tonight because we're going to talk about new relationships. Luckily enough for Francesca, she has just entered into one. She has been one of those lucky few who has found a relationship. Uh, so Francesca, please be so excited to hear. Uh, how did you guys meet? Um, well, I guess we met here at MUTV. Um, he volunteers for sports, and I work here. So yeah, that's how that happened. It's very common, actually, in the world that you meet people at work because you yeah. both have usually the common interests as well as you get to see each other on work time as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so please tell us, how was the first date? Um, it was a lot of fun. We went bowling, um, and he won one, and I won another one. So Of course, he will let you win as a gentleman. I don't think he let me win, though. Like, I really like stepped off my game, and like I think you know, I won on my own. You're a pretty good bowler, then. I, I am a good bowler. Pretty yeah. impressed, mm -hmm. pretty impressed. Yeah. So where do you see this... Um, what has been the best parts of the relationship so far? Um, I guess that like we get to um, see each other a lot. Like in other relationships I've had, they've all been like um, long distance or they've gone to like other schools and stuff. So it's been a little hard. But for this one, like it's good because we get to see each other a lot. Well, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I hope you, you guys are going to last for a long time. Thank you so much for joining me Thanks. and telling us a little bit about it. And everybody, MUTV, that's the place where romance happens. Have a good week. Thanks, Sebastian. That was great. Next, we have to take another short break, but don't go anywhere because Marquette Live will be right back. Welcome back, Marquette. Tonight, I have two very special guests for you. We have Spencer Bonahum, who is going to tell us a little bit about Mardi Gras Open Mic Night, happening this upcoming Sunday at 7 p.m., which brings us to our next guest, Travis Smith, who will be one of the performers for the night. Before I tell you more about what should be a fabulous night of music, singing, and the flavorful essence that is New Orleans, why don't I show you? Here, with a little glimpse of what is in store, Travis, whenever you're ready, take it away. I have a classic one for all of you. If you make it out there Sunday night, you'll be able to hear more. As the son of a son of a sailor, I went out on the sea for adventure. Expanding the view of the captain and crew, like a man just released from indenture. As a dreamer of dreams and a traveling man, hell, I've chopped up many a mile. Read dozens of books about heroes and crooks, and I've learned much from both of their style. Son of a son, I'm a son of a son, a son of a son of a sailor, a son of a gun, baby, load the last ton, one step ahead of a jailer, now we're in the near future, southeast of the sorter, where you can shake the hand of the mango man as he greets you at the border. And the lady she hails from Trinidad, the island of the spices. The salt for you meat, the cinnamon sweet, and the rum is for all your good vices. Haul the sheet in as we ride on the wind that our forefathers harness before us. Hear the bells ring, let the tide ringer sing. It's the son of a gun of a course, that's right. This all ends, I can't fathom my friends If I knew I just might toss out my anchor 
life cruise along. I was searching for songs, not lawyer, a thief, or a banker. I'm just a son of a son, I'm a son of a son, a son of a son of a sailor, a son of a gun, baby, load the last ton. I'm one step ahead of a jailer. I'm just a son of a son, a son of a son, a son of a son of a sailor. The seas in my veins and my tradition remains. I'm glad I don't live in a trailer. Like I said, come on out, you'll be able to hear more. All right, well, that definitely got me pumped up for Sunday night. Um, so, Spencer, this event is part of Spark Week, I take it. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Spark Week, it's actually an acronym, um, and Spark stands for Students Promoting Awareness and Action in Response to Katrina. Um, so, Mardi Gras as an organization goes down to New Orleans to help rebuild homes um, after Hurricane Katrina. And so this week is help, helping us fundraise, basically, so we can go down there and make such a difference in the region. All right. So I heard a, a rumor about it being um, sort of a jar wars. I know that they're calling it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So actually, this week we have three events going on. The first one is the open mic night, uh, where Travis and a lot of others will be playing. Um, so the jar wars is the main way that we're going to fundraise at this event. Mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do is we'll have a jar for each performer that's there. Um, and so friends and fans alike can come out and donate money to who they think is the best act of the night. Um, and then whoever has raised the most money in their jar will get some kind of prize to, that we have for them. It's a surprise there. So. Well, that sounds exciting. Um, so be sure to come out on Sunday night to the first floor um, AMU, where you can see Travis, along with many other fantastic musical guests, along with um, the Golden Blues, the Naturals, the Melodies. And I also have the privilege of being able to perform, so I will definitely be there. Um, a big thank you to Travis and Spencer for being here tonight. And um, that's our show for tonight, guys. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you on Thursday. All right, until then, America Force. Thank you for watching.